What's up guys, it's Michael here, Shot City Acker, back out in the water. Early spring coho fishing is what we're doing. Uh, I was out yesterday doing some recon out here and it was productive, went two for three. A lot of fish, a lot of bait more importantly. In fact, I put a picture up of uh, me cleaning a big female coho I caught. I had about at least nine alewife in his belly and still hit my lure and uh, you know caught it. Now, I believe that it was a reaction bite, not necessarily a hunger bite, but these fish are gorging themselves in the spring. So check out check out the pictures and all that on my Instagram at Shy City Yacker. So make sure you follow me there. Uh, today we're meeting up with a couple of buddies. In fact, we got a special guest coming in here, all the way from Ohio, I believe. My man uh, Chuck Earls is in here from uh, Lake Erie kayak fishing. He does a lot of guiding on Erie for walleye, and he's coming over to our neck of the woods. And uh, I, I don't say I'm guiding, but I'm helping him to get out some fish. That's the plan. Hopefully this doesn't backfire on me. That's why I came out yesterday to do some recons. I know they're here. The weather's still holding over from yesterday. Similar, overcast. These fish like to bite. I noticed really good when it's overcast. Uh, so we're gonna shoot out here. We're in uh, Indiana. The water's warmer down here. Uh, this creek comes out to the main lake and this water is warmer. Right now it's 46 here. So that warm water pushes out and it creates like a mud line out here. All right. Before we set out the line, let's talk about what we're doing here. Uh, flatline cranking right now. I, I, I stick to the flatline crank setups here in the early spring up until the water starts breaking into the 50 degree temps. And that's when I'll start at actually adding in uh, Dodger flies to the setups. But when it's still in the 40s up to 50s, I'm sticking to the cranks. They just perform better, in my opinion. Uh, the, the, the Dodger flash of fly picks up uh, when the water warms up to the 50s, for me anyway. So, uh, flicker shad, join it. I really think these flicker sheds or anything jointed works really, really well in these colder water temps. Must be the action of it, maybe the clacking adds something else to it. We're gonna go with the Wonder Bread with the orange tail. This is a custom color. We're gonna have on the lead core, straight back, orange and gold J11, all right? And then we're gonna run Fire Tiger, Join it flicker. This one's good. Uh, this one works really good in the in the, in the uh, murkier water here that we're gonna be fishing. So uh, yesterday, more, uh, more of my bites came on that one versus the the uh, white one. So we'll see if that holds today. And if so, I'll swap out the white one for double chartreuse or double fire tiger, and uh, we'll run it that way. Fish on, fish on. There we go. There we go. Switched up lures. Unlocking. Oh my God! What is going on right now? That and the planer board did not pop off of the thing, which is a little bit of an issue right now. Oh my God! Something's going on with my reel. Take a look. 
bug. Would be like a bass. Oh, there he goes jumping around. He's looked pretty good, so if he wasn't hooked up this good, I wouldn't be doing this. But. There we got him. First one of the day, folks. There we go. It took the brass thin fin. I switched it over to a red thin fin and. Uh, Smack that up and put it far, pretty far back up there. Right there. Okay, chill out, dog. Yeah. What up, bro? Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I got something on this line. We ain't fishing? We ain't doing no fishing? It just switched up. It was calm, but starting to pick up. Yeah. It's just barely hooked. There we go. Little guy, but we got him. He's so little, I didn't even know where I had hooked. I don't know how long he's been on my line for. <sighs> Alright. They like the red. spot again. I think that's the money spot. <sighs> Definitely the biggest one for today, for sure. There we are right there, guys. Huh? That one? Alright, come on. I want to see it. Yeah, they say eerie, uh, fish on we got a fish time, thanks.
Chuck just called. He's going to catch a fish. He called. He's going to catch a fish. L literally, my ride went off. <laughs> literally, my ride went off. Feels like a better size coho. for the boat flip. Hey, there's the boat flip for you. called my fish that's hilarious so we are gonna wrap up this video right here i mean i'm trolling my, my way in unless there's something that goes down here then we'll, we'll put that back into the video otherwise if not then yeah we're gonna wrap it up for coho in the kayak for today's trip a complete success it was a grind it took a while to figure out what they wanted but man once i a salmon just jumped around my face. I don't know if you guys saw that. Right? Maybe not. That was funny. Um, it's like they're teasing me right now. I'm, I'm one shy from a limit. It'd be great if I could troll in right now and, and catch that. If not, hey, listen, it's still a great success. Anytime you, you, you can put at least one coho or uh, salmon or trout in your kayak, it's, it's a complete success. It's not easy to do it out in this big body of water to figure it all out and know where they're at and give them something that they want. For me, it took a while to cycle through, but I dialed it in. And today, the Brad's red with black striped thin fin was the money. That's what they wanted. It's what I got bid on. Anything else? Nothing. Not even a sniff. And it's like that sometimes. You got to persevere through it all. Uh, try different things out. Switch lures out. I was able to get that figured out. The presentation they wanted. And boom. I didn't bake them out, you know, one right after the other. It's a bit of a grind. But I was able to put four in. One shot of a, a, a limit. No complaints over here, man. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully everything with the video came out okay. And with that being said, guys, do not forget to throw a thumbs like on the video. Uh, drop a sub on the channel. Does it cost you anything? You want support? Come through, check out more of the videos. Uh, a lot more spring coho salmon to do. Uh, we got uh, crappie season coming up here in the spring about to start. Actually, it's about to start right now, but I like to focus on the coho first and then transition into the uh, crappie. So, yeah, that's just a look at what's coming up here with the channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.